Jasmine Paolini versus Donna Vekic was the first semi-final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2024. Both players were not expected to get this far. Vekic entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Wong in the first round and after dropping the first set would fight back to win. 3-6-6-3-6-4. In the second round she'd take on the lucky loser Andreva who had taken Sabalenka's spot in the draw after she withdrew. There's no problem for Vekic getting through in straights. 6-2-6-3. In the third round she'd take on Yastremska, the number 28 seed. And after splitting the first two sets, Vekic would run away with the third. 7-6-6-7-6-1. In the fourth round she'd take on Bedosa who had just taken out Kazakina in the previous rounds. And again, after splitting the first two sets and multiple rain delays, Vekic would win in three. 6-2, 1-6, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Vekic would take on the qualifier, Sun, who had had a great run beating Zhang and Raducanu along the way. And after dropping the first set, Vekic would win in three. 5-7, 6-4, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. Pellini entered the tournament as the number seven seed and would take on Tormov in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Minin. And again, after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-2. Third round, she'd take on Andrescu, who had actually had a pretty good grass court season to this stage. And again, a close first set, but getting through in straights, 7 6 6 1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Keys, the number 12 seed, who was a very dangerous player on the grass. And after splitting the first two sets and 5 all in the third, Keys would get injured and have to retire with the score at 6 3 6 7 5 all retirement in favor of Paolini to make the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Paolini would take on Navarro, the number 19 seed, who she had lost all three previous meetings to. But Paolini was on fire, winning in less than an hour. 6-2-6-1 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played three times before with Paolini leading 2-1 in the head-to-head. -head. They've only played once in the last couple of years. That was last year in Montreal with Paolini getting a straight sets win over Vekic on the hard court. So the way that Paolini's been playing right now and with that last win under a belt, it's going to be real tough for Vekic to get to the final. If Vekic is going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive on the ground strokes and try and limit her movement because if Paolini does expose her, I guess, lack of movement, she's not terrible at running around, but it's not her strength moving around. She wants to dominate the baseline and move Move Palini around. Also, keep her emotions in check because she sometimes does get a little bit emotional on court. She's got to keep that in check as well if she's going to make her first Grand Slam final. Palini's going to win this one. She's just, just keep doing what she's doing. She's been so good the last six months. I mean, since the start of the year, she's been so, so good. And she was so good against Navarro. If she can keep her cool and just keep playing the way she is, she's going to make another final of a slam. Really interesting matchup. Like I said, this is not the one that anyone would have predicted. Maybe Palini because of what she did at the French Open. Maybe you back her to do it again. And I've got to go with her in this one. I think her experience from the French Open a month ago is going to do her good. And she's just riding away with confidence. I reckon she wins this one in straight sets. But let me know in the comments below who's making the final.